Hello family, God bless. Ricardo Colon here. I just wanna share a couple of things with you guys. Behind me is a painting I just did this morning. And um, I would like to share with you the process that I go through. Uh, you know, I often get questions like, you know, how do I get, uh, you know, uh, the visions and the revelations from God and things of that nature. And one of the things that I have discovered, okay, me personally, is that I cannot sit down with a sketch pad or a sketchbook and begin to sketch and see what God has for me. You know, I can't even, um, you know, I just can't. I, either I fall asleep or I just get, I, I, nothing happens. So what I have found is that for the, you know, for the past 10 years that I have been doing personal prophetic art, that I put on my headphones, I go out for jogging, I go out walking, and I listen to worship music. And as I'm walking, I'm praying, and I'm listening to the worship music, okay, and I'm asking God for the person, amen? And sometimes the Lord would show me a, a scripture, a word, or even a vision as I'm walking. And, uh, and I have found that that works for me, I mean, so well. I mean, it's like, you know, my, 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 uh, my soul, my body, and my spirit, all three are one. My body is active, okay, because it's, you know, jogging, walking. My soul is active because it's enjoying this thing, it's enjoying the, 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 uh, the feeling and the, uh, what the spirit is revealing, okay? And, and, uh, and of course, my spirit is with the Lord. My spirit communicates with Abba Father. And all three of us, all three of me, are one. And as one, and as I'm walking, as I'm jogging, man, God just comes on me in a very, very powerful, powerful way. There are times I'm jogging and I'm in tears. I mean, just streaming down my face and people walking and jogging and looking at me you know, I just can't help it I mean the the power and the presence of God is so powerful um, on me when I pray for individuals that have requested art I take that very serious amen so behind me let me explain this painting to you okay just did it this morning <laughs> the Lord spoke to me as I was jogging, okay? He said, hay, stubble, and wood, okay? And that's scripture, I think it's in Corinthians or, uh, or uh, yeah, Corinthians, I believe. And this vision just immediately came up as I'm jogging and walking and says, God, how, does, how do you want this? How... The scripture came, and so I began to see it in my my spirit and in my soul because my soul uses my imagination, okay? And, you know, the imagination has a, a, a part in all of this, all right? Um, um, you know, my imagination is sanctified because I am a child of God, okay? And so are you, whoever is listening, all right? And that makes my imagination tuned into God. All right? And, you know, there's scripture that backs it up. There's all kinds of things that I that I go through. I've been saved for 35 years. All right? I've been doing prophetic art for 25 years. And 10 years has been a personal prophetic art. I mean, God just totally has blown my mind ever since. All right? So... In this picture, I saw Jesus, the crucified, right, the thorns and everything, looking down at this here. Now, he's holding two pieces of a heart. Amen? And he's opening this heart. And inside the heart, there is wood, there is stubble, you know? Things that we all have in our hearts, okay? <laughs> Me, everybody, okay? We've got this stuff. And, and so God sends his holy fire and burns all of this, 
burns anything that is not of God, all right, that's going to burn. But the things of the Lord, the gold, the silver, that's going to remain. Amen? So, so she is now purified, if I can use that word. Can't think of any other word right now. And she's walking off of this scene right here, almost as if she was coming out of this fire and walking on water. And this is, this is her destiny to live in the supernatural, to walk in the supernatural, to see God face to face, amen? That's what she's gonna do. Also part of this is, this here is, is a scroll, all right? And Jesus opened up the scroll and found her heart in the scroll. Obviously, this scroll was written for her. The destiny of her life is in this scroll. The death, you know, the scroll that was written before we were even born. Amen. When we were with him in heaven. It's a lot to say about that, but I don't have time for that. Anyway, so he opened. This is her personal scroll, her divine destiny. And inside he opened the, her heart and he burned the wood of stubble, giving her the, uh, the purity, the availability to walk on water. Amen. And that's what that is. That's how I get my art work. And uh, um, just want to say one more thing. Uh, you know, I get that people call me a prophet. I get that they call me a seer. Okay. Um, but in no way, no how, Am I where anywhere near the office of that title? Amen. Let's make that clear. Now, but I do see and I do prophesy like we all should. We are all children of God. We have his DNA in us. We need to move in the giftings of God, man. The sons and daughters of God need to rise up and prophesy teach with power this is all for us amen and, and, and so that's it man I, I'm just a lover of God I love Jesus and and you know what's more important than being a, a prophet or a seer is that I am a son of God if you are a son or a daughter of God, all of those gifts are wrapped in you. That to me is more important. Just the thought of that just, just gives me goosebumps as I'm speaking to you right now. It's just under the presence of God. It's just, I, I just have to share that with you that um, you are a, a son, you are a daughter of the living God. It's time that we move in that. Amen. And I guess I'll share some more, um, maybe next week. There's a couple of more things that I that I do, and God is doing something new with me. I'm I'm more, you know, more uh, introverted, quiet kind of thing, and uh, God is telling me to move out more, and you know. Anyway, so this is part of it. Amen. So keep me in prayer. All right, so take care. God bless. See you next week.